Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. And uh, this morning, I'd like to capture my thoughts with, with the words, uneasy proximity. Uneasy, as in the word, I'm not comfortable with this. And proximity, it means closeness. So uneasy proximity. You remember in 1 Kings chapter 18, and uh, my time is taken from 1 Kings chapter 18, verse 30, when Elijah was about to uh, pray down fire, and I believe that each and every one of us, one time or the other, we need either fire in our businesses, fire in our churches, fire in our organizations. We, we need some energy. We need some power. We need some divine enablement. We need some divine visitation in the things that we do. And I'm talking especially for churches and for corporate bodies. I mean, the Bible said Elijah was about to pray down fire, and then look at what he did. He, he did something that made me gasp and say, whoa. And I, I mean, many a pastor, many, many a man of God, many of us would like to see some fire in our churches, in our local churches, or fire in our organization. That is a quickening and an awakening and a quickening or something that will light up our flames and that will cause the whole place to shake so that our testimony, so that the things that God wants to do with us will be blatant and will be big and will be big news and will be an event that each and every one of us can celebrate. And I've been peculiarly interested in how Elijah brought down fire from heaven. And in 1 Kings chapter 18, verse 30, there's a key there, and I said, uneasy proximity. Remember when Elijah, before he did anything, the first thing he did, the Bible said he said to the people, come near me. Now, Elijah, Elijah asked the people to, I mean, to, to come near him. Well, that's a very risky thing to do. Because sometimes, you know, fire is beautiful. Or, or, or when, when we are far apart, we admire. But sometimes when we come close to each other, that's when we're going to see the words, that is the W-R-A-T-S of, of, of people. And you see the, 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 uh, the inequalities or the, you see the faults and you see the mistakes. Elijah said to them, come near me. And I remember very many years ago, I, I, was, I was going to preach um, at a particular place. And then um, uh, a, a brother came and stood by me. And then in the course of the prayer meeting, I mean, we, we were asked to lift up our hands. And I, I can honestly tell you, I nearly fainted. I nearly collapsed. But when he raised his hands, as the glory was appearing from, uh, from up there, something else was slaying me. I mean, knocking me under the power. I can't tell you what power it was. You know, and it, 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 was, it, it was so intense and I, I could hardly breathe. And I was like, whoa. I'm going to be in big trouble. And I was getting angry. I was getting angry. And then the, the, the preacher uh, or, the, or the pastor said, before we pray, we should, uh, after prayer, we should all hold our hands. And, uh, and so we held our hands. Uh, and don't do it in these COVID times, though. I mean, uh, social spacing is very important. And then he said, when you finish prayer, hug everybody and tell the person, uh, you are my brother. And this guy really literally jumped in on me and into my arms. And he was, oh, brother, you, you're my brother, you're my brother. I mean, oh, man, I just couldn't breathe. But that's when God dropped it into my heart. That's your brother. Bought by the same blood. One faith. One, 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 one Christ. One Holy Spirit. And you're going to stand out there and you're going to minister? You want to reject somebody. That's when God opened my eyes. So you know what? Just before ministering, I called him and I said, come stand by me. And when he stood by me, and I began to minister, what God did that day, when Elijah asked people to come near him, that was a risky thing to do. Because sometimes when people get near you, they might step on your toe. Fire is always beautiful. But if we want the power of God to visit us, if we want to see some powerful dimensions of God's move, we need to stand in unity. Now the Bible says in Acts chapter 2, they were all with one accord in one place. That was in unity, close together. That was when the fire fell. So you want fire to fall on your church? Want fire to fall? Listen, 
The power of unity is very, very important. Let's stop bickering. Let's stop knifing each other at the back. Let's stop backbiting. Let's stop undermining each other. Let's stop it. Let's get together. It is very, very imperative because the, Christ, the coming of Christ is near. And so we need to get together one church, one faith, one baptism, one Holy Spirit, one Lord, one God. And then we can then raise up our voice and fire will fall. And the presence of God is going to be so manifest that everyone is going to say, these are Christians. Just like in Acts chapter 2. Everywhere there's unity, every time there's unity, heaven makes a move. The Bible says, behold, how good and pleasant it is when brethren dwell together in unity. I'm going to talk about like the oil and blah, blah, blah that falls from the head of Aaron, touches the hem of his garment. Then made something, made a statement, for there the Lord commanded a blessing. In unity, there's a commanded blessing. In unity, sometimes we don't even have to pray that hard, but there's a commanded blessing. Unity moves heaven. Whether it is of God or it is against God, heaven will move. In Genesis chapter 11, God moved at, at the unity that was there because it was threatening. That unity was not of his, so he moved against it. When there's unity for him, he's going to come together and he's going to, he's going to rally his troops in heaven, he's going to rally the angels in heaven and attend to the demands of that unity. Elijah said, come near me. That was uneasy proximity. And we need to recognize it's still one faith, one Lord, one baptism, one God, one Jesus Christ. So whether I like it or not, you're my brother and you're my sister. So you know, take me by the hand. Let's raise up our hands and worship in proclamation of who God is to the generations that are yet unborn. I choose uneasy proximity. See you later.